Hey guys, what's happening? How to downgrade iOS 26 to 18. I gotta tell you straight up before I dive in. You can't actually downgrade iOS 26 all the way back to iOS 18. Apple doesn't allow you to freely jump between major versions like that. They sign only the most recent iOS builds and once a version gets unsigned, your iPhone literally refuses to, ins to install it. Even if you have the file setting there on your computer begging to be used. That said, I'm not gonna just drop the hammer and walk away. Let's go from like, let's go and break down, um, you know, the way it is, right? Why it's locked, the loopholes people try, and the realistic paths you actually have if you want to run something close to an older iOS. So, First of all, let's start with why you can downgrade iOS 26 to iOS 18. Every iOS firm, uh, firmware has what's called a sign-in status. Think of it like an official passport stamp from Apple. When Apple releases a new update, they usually, uh, they usually stop signing the older one within a week or two, right? And when Basically, if a, a virgin isn't signed anymore, the uh, iTunes and Finder won't let you restore it. You will get an error like this firmware is not compatible, even if the file is 100% correct. The security aspect. Apple uses something called AP, AP ticket and shish shish uh, blobs or SH SH blobs. There are cryptographic signatures tied to your specific device, plus the iOS version. You can't fake it. If you didn't save blobs for iOS 18 back when Apple was signing it, it, you're basically locked out. A lot of people assume jailbreak can let you roll back. Nope. Jailbreaks uh, usually only give root access, tweak installs, and or sometimes semi downgrades within a narrow range you can't jump from ios 26 to 18 unless there is some crazy exploit which doesn't exist right now and what people try anyway uh, the custom restore was saved sh sh blobs or shish shish blobs if you are a power user and had the foresight to save uh, shish shish blobs back when ios 18 was uh, still alive you might be able to stitch a custom IPSW and trick your device into restoring. Tools like Future Restore can sometimes make it work, but it, it's insanely technical, risky, and usually not possible if you didn't save blobs years ago. Some folks who want the old iOS experience just want you just use simulators on a Mac or emulators uh, like Curlium or Curlium. Right, if you have access, but that's not the same as running it uh, on your actual phone. And sometimes Apple still signs one step backward, e.g., 26.0.1 to 26.0. In that case, downgrading is possible, but you will never go from 26 to 18 literally or directly. The realistic, the realistic options you have, you can visit sites uh, like. IPSW, right, right here, IPS, IPSW.me, right, to check which iOS versions are currently signed for your device, okay? If you see a green next to a virgin, you can download that IPSW file and just restore using Finder, Mac, or iTunes uh, on Windows, okay? If the real reason you want iOS 18 is nostalgia, maybe icons, old design, you know, the vibe, there are jailbreak themes and tweaks that replicate that look. Not the same, but gives you the aesthetic. If you really need iOS 18 for some legacy app or testing reason, the only safe way is to actually buy an older phone or iPad that already runs iOS 18 and just never update it, okay? If you try to downgrade from iOS 26 to 18, you might risk breaking your device, right? A failed restore can lock you in recovery or DFU mode. Apple won't help 
if you call them saying, hey, I tried to put iOS 18 on my iPhone 15 Pro Max and now it's dead. Even if you did get iOS 18 running, most modern apps won't support it anymore. App Store requires newer SDKs. So there's no legitimate way today to downgrade from iOS 26 to iOS 18. Apple's ecosystem is a walled garden and downgrades are one of the walls you just can't climb, un climb unless you had the foresight years ago to save the sh uh, shish, shish blobs and you are ready for a hacker level project. So if you are craving that old school iOS vibe, your best option or your best bets are buy an older phone stuck on iOS 18 or jailbreak and theme your current iPhone to look like iOS 18. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.